हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आजकल भिडियोते डिसकस कर सी सी फोर थे दो नम्बर क्षेत्र में इम्पर्टेंट कोश्चेंस और तर आन्सार्स नहीं तेल भिडियो तुम्हारा मन दिए देखते थको प्रथम प्रश्न जी इम्पर्टेंट बाट सार्कट ऑन कान्ट्री प्लेजार्स एक्सप्लेन दिस लाइन इज टेकन फ्रम जन डनस पोएम द गुड मरो द पोएट हियर एड्रेसेस सरि गेसेस ह्वाट हि एंड हिज बिलाभेड ओ डुईंगफोर दे मेट इच अदार एके अपर संगे देखा हार आगे तरा कि नहीं अबाक होता एन अनुमान कर हि थिंगस दैट दे पास देयर टाइम बनजयिंग द होमलि प्लेजार्स अब कान्ट्री लाइफ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लिटिल रूम एंड एवरीवेर इच हथ वन एंड इज वन एक्सप्लेन उत्तर है इन दिस लाइन द पोएट हियर मीन्स टू से दैट द लाभार्स बेड चेम्बर इज द मैक्रो वर्ल्ड फर देम एक छोट जगत देयर इंटेंस ट्रासफुल लाभ हेज मेड देयर लिटिल रूम एज भास टू देम एज द यूनिवर्स द कन्सिट अफ वन लिटिल रूम कन्भेज द कम्प्लीटनेस अफ लाभार्स इन दियर लाभ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन उइ फाइन टू बेटर हेमिसफियर एक्सप्लेन In this line, the lovers are compared to two hemispheres, which merge thoroughly without any distortion. Duty golar tho milite hoye chhe kono rokom distortion charai. Their love is so true and strong that the two form one perfect whole. Tara ato tai perfect, tara ato tai tadher bhalo basha ta shotto je ekta single hemisphere tara toiri korche, ba single world toiri korche. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड ह्वाट एवर डायज वज नट मिक्सड इक्ुअलि एक्सप्लेन द पोएट हियर मीन्स टू से दैट दोज एलिमेंट्स हुईच आर नट फुल्लि फ्यूज रिमेन पेरिसेबल हि अपाइन्स दैट ट्रु लाभ ब्रिंगस द लाभार्स टूगेदार परफेक्टलि एंड रिमेन्स इम्पेरिसेबल हियर इूनिफिकेशन इन लाभ इज एम्फासाइज भलोबासार जे एकता जे मिलित तो रूप से तुले धरा होक्सट क्वेश्चन लेटास पोजेस वन वार्ल्ड ह्वाट इज दान वार्ल्ड हाउ इज दिस पोज प्रपोज टू बी पोजेज एट दो हज़ार उन्नीस साले एस तुम्हारे इम्पर्टेंट दिस वन वार्ल्ड इज द वार्ल्ड अफ लाभ एनजयड एक्सक्लूसिवलि बै द पोएट एंड हिज लेडी लाभ उदाउट एनी हिंड्रांस हिंड्रांस मैं हम बाधा They propose to possess this without bothering about any alteration in the world map or any great discovery or exploration. Next question, but these all pleasures fancies be. What does but imply here? Here but refers to different pleasures and serves to indicate all such pleasurable surmises or guesses as the mere play of fancy in a jovial spirit next question without sharp north without declining west what do sharp north and declining west indicate uttar hobe sharp north refers to any pointed raised portion of the northern part of the globe declining west stands for the bending western side Next question let the sea discoverers to new world have gone explain this line has been has a reference to the discoveries of new countries made by the english explorers in the 16th century explorers and discoverers set out and find out new lands beyond the uncharted seas mane notun notun jayga ke abishkar korto jara explorer chilo But the lovers are not fascinated by all such advancements. Next question: What is meant by the marriage of true minds? Uttar hobe the marriage of true minds signifies the attachment or union of two lovers in true love. The expression is based upon the wording of the Christian marriage service in the Book of Common Prayers. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लाभ इज नट लाभ हेन लाभ इज नट लाभ खूब इम्पर्टेंट क्वेश्चन 
love ceases to be true genuinely attached when it changes or deviates from its truth or constancy under the pressure pressure of circumstances or threads what the poet implies is that true love remains ever firm and steady but when love is not so it is not so অর্থাৎ ভালোবাসা যেটা পরিবর্তন হয়ে যায় সেটা আসল ভালোবাসা বা সত্য ভালোবাসা নয় নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন ও নো ইট ইজ অ্যান এভার ফিক্সড মার্ক হোয়াট ইজ ইট ইন হোয়াট সেন্স দ্য মেটাফোরিক্যাল এক্সপ্রেশন অ্যান্ড এভার ফিক্সড মার্ক ইজ ইউজড উত্তর হবে ইটস ইট ইজ ট্রু লাভ দ্য পোয়েটস অ্যাসারসন ইজ দ্যাট লাভ ইজ এভার স্টেডি অ্যান্ড ফিক্সড দ্য মেটাফোরিক্যাল এক্সপ্রেশন ইজ ইউজ টু সিগনিফাই the virtue of constancy in love next question how does the poet show the triumph of love over time uttar hobe time is immensely destructive and spares none yet it has no power over the faith of time faith of love Though it is ever on the move, love doesn't change with its rapid flow. This remains loyal till the last moment of life. Next question, it is the star to every wandering bark. Can you identify the star referred to here? What does the wandering bark denote? The star is the pole star. So, if you want to say star, it is the pole star. The wandering bark is the ship moving on the uncharted sea. Uncharted sea. What is meant by to the age of doom? To the age of doom means the last print of doomsday. This is the complete destruction of the entire creation. The reference here of course is to the Catholic conviction of the doomsday. Next question, bring out the sense I never read nor no man ever loved uttar hobe the poet wants to mean that he had written nothing and that these would be no true love the poet actually asserts here the virtue of love and the power of his verse to live forever and forever the poet is here categorical of the perpetual appeal of his verse on love and for all places and ages next question shall i compare thee to a summer stay to whom does the poet address does he compare him to a summer stay uttar hobe the poet addresses his friend possibly henry worthless earl of southampton actually he does not compare his friend to a summer stay for he considers his friend lovelier than this day Next question what does the poet mean by saying if and every fear from fear sometime declines this epigrammatic expression implies inevitable decay of every earthly element however fear is a thing maybe its change and decay are definite to occur orthat prottekta sondorjer bostu tar sondorjo ras pabe next question not shall death brag the wondrous in his said what is mean by brag what shall not bra- death brag brag means boast death brags of its power to keep others in its domain this cannot however brag to have the poet's friend a victim in its realm this is because he will remain immortal in the poet's verse what the poet means is that his verse written in praise of his friend will immortalize him in this mortal world next question what is the sun called why is the sun called saucy pedantic rich the sun is so called wittily because its rays disturb the happy lovers repose in their bed the rep- interference with their lover with their love making by the sun is sharply retorted here next question all here in one bed lay what is the bed referred to here what does the poet mean the bed is one of the poets and his lady love to the poet 
their single bed is much more opulent than all the all the riches of the world he means to emphasize the superiority of love to anything however valuable else next question all honors mimic all wealth alchemy what is the idea content here the lover means that eta dear hobe their love is the only true honor and wealth all else is false pretense pretense mane bhan and counterfeit mane nokol alchemy means pseudo pseudo mane hocche chhoddo beshi pseudo science which tried to turn base metal into gold তুচ্ছ মেটালকে সোনায় রূপান্তরিত করা যেটা সে পরশ পাথর করে দ্য লাভার ক্লেমস দেয়ার লাভ ইজ দ্য আর্কেটাইপার লাভ অ্যান্ড অল আদার লাভার্স আর শ্যাডোজ অ্যান্ড কাউন্টার ফিটস অব দ্যাট লাভ দিস ইজ প্লেটোনিক আইডিয়া এটা হচ্ছে প্লেটোনিক আইডিয়া একটা তাহলে সি ফোর থেকে তোমরা এই কোশ্চেনগুলো ভালো করে অবশ্যই করবে আশা করি এখান থেকে তোমরা কমন পাবে এবং এই ভিডিওটি করতে অনেক পরিশ্রম লেগেছে তাই ভিডিওটিকে লাইক এবং শেয়ার এবং সাবস্ক্রাইব করে রাখবে চ্যানেলটাকে থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফর ওয়াচিং দিস ভিডিও হ্যাভ এ গ্রেট ডে